So we enter Holy Week, the most important week of the church's year. And the church building becomes like a stage, a theatre. And each day we follow Jesus' final journey to the cross, almost in real time. So we start, of course, with Palm Sunday. We begin outside the church. We wave our palms. We shout Hosanna. We greet the King as he enters Jerusalem. And then we fast forward to Monday Thursday when the church becomes firstly the upper room. We think about the Last Supper. We wash the feet of some of our brothers and sisters and we break bread together just like Jesus. And then the side altar of Our Lady becomes for us the Garden of Gethsemane. We put a few plants around it and we keep watch with Jesus until late into the night. And then we have Good Friday. The church is incredibly bare. It becomes Mount Calvary. We stand at the foot of the cross and we adore the cross because it brought us salvation. And then of course on Holy Saturday night we have the Easter Vigil, perhaps the most important service of the year. We begin with a bonfire outside the church which is like the explosion that was the resurrection. We hear once again our salvation story and this year we celebrate some baptisms, those people being baptised and also confirmed and received into the church have a very deep share in the resurrection, in the new life that Jesus brings us. So this week let's really enter into the mysteries that we celebrate. Let's try to come to as many of the services as possible and let's have some quiet time in our lives to reflect on the life that Jesus brings us.